here. This is seahorse. This. How this. do I? Oh. Whoa. Seahorse. People ask me all the time, Sonny, how do you? How do you review all those foods and still maintain a great body and jawline? As a professional food reviewer, sometimes I'm reviewing hundreds of foods a day. But even more crucial than reviewing food is maintaining my status as a sex symbol. To keep up with my huge caloric, <clears throat> to keep up with my huge caloric intake, I have to work out like the rock. Like two rocks, actually. But all these workouts can take their toll. Oh, dude, my back. That's why today I'm taking a traditional approach to dealing with my back pain. Traditional Chinese medicine has been practiced for thousands of years. Let's see if it will work for me. Right now, we're headed into the very local countryside um, Chinese hospital. Uh, oh, okay, here's the waiting room. Hello, can I, can I see a doctor? It's probably the most awkward thing I've ever done. There's a lot of people here with varying injuries and ailments. A lot of foot injuries today. Or maybe Tuesday's foot injury day. Maybe there's a discount. I'm not exactly sure how this works because I didn't draw a number. Uh, there's no number system. How you doing? Okay. Uh, okay. No, that's fine. Is this? No? Okay. That's cool. This? Oh, you're welcome. Hey, look at me. A little doctor's assistant over here. Oh, Jesus. They're lighting it on fire. What's that? Did you see that? I've never seen that. I've seen that at bars. I've seen that at a cocktail bar. She just lit that on fire and put it in that guy's arm. That is badass. Sure, no problem. Ooh. Turns out that the doctor here speaks a bit of English. That's good, okay? The most important thing is communication. I don't want to come in here for back pain and then they amputate my foot. Jesus. That looks pretty intense. I've got lower back pain, so I don't think they're going to suggest that for me. I can talk to you, but my English is not good. It sounds good. It's not good. Okay, but my problem is simple, okay? I was slamming out some deadlifts. I was going three plates on each side. No big deal. It wasn't a PR. But I have some back pain here. Back pain here. Low, lower back pain. If you feel lumped in the leg? Mm, no, not really. Just the thing in here. Yeah. I want you to go to the, the treatment room. What am I doing in there? I will do the treatment for you. Treatment? Yes, it's the fire cupping. Fire cupping? Yes. Okay. If you have lots of the... Uh, uh, Muscle? No, no, no. No. We have a lot of patients like this. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So you, you, don't, you don't need to worry. Okay, not worried. Okay. It's okay. Thank you. Fire cupping? It's not even just called cupping. It's called fire cupping. Good. Good. This is what it takes to stay healthy, okay? To keep doing the best ever food review show. If, if this is what it takes, then I'll do it. Room two, that's me. Okay, here is the hospital room. Hi. Uh, to, uh, lose the belt. Lose the belt. Lose the belt and uh, the face down. Face down? Yes. And, and, then, and then lose the belt and then uh, take down the, the trousers in here. Take down the, my pants a little bit. Okay. And face down. Okay. Lie down. Okay. 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 Should. Should I? Okay. Okay. Is this good? How much ass do you want? A little bit. I think maybe just kiss you. Yeah. I told her I have back pain, but she wants to see my ass. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh God. Oh, it feels so weird. It feels so weird. Ah, oh, it feels like an octopus. Ten minutes, like this. Ten minutes? Need to be rest. I have a feeling um, that they don't clean or sterilize these in between people. Uh, I don't see any cleaner. Let me tell you, she put all these cups on my back slash ass in about ten seconds. This lady has done this many times. I'm a little freaked out because. I've heard some horror stories with cupping, uh, like this picture. But you know what? If Michael Phelps does it, and he's a world-class swimmer, then as a world-class food reviewer, I think I can do it too. This is a feeling of getting about 10 hickeys at once. 
Oh, hi there. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, thank god. Oh, are you leaving? Is that how you treat a man? You just decup him and leave? Chinese medicine remains a mystery. We did the cupping. Back feels good. I don't know if it just feels good because there's no longer 10 jars sucking on my back, but it feels good. Now that I've gotten my physical treatment, it's time to get a prescription for a magic potion that's gonna cure my back ailments for good. Uh, okay, I don't think they would call it a magic potion, but some kind of concoction. It looks like there's a lot of people waiting for treatment. This is gonna take forever. We're in an actual hospital now where they practice kind of Western medicine and traditional Eastern Chinese medicine. I'm about to see a doctor who's gonna prescribe me something that probably has, uh, I don't know, tree bark, eye of newt, I don't know. I don't know what to expect. I wanna stick it to big pharma and all the big pharmaceutical companies overcharging and getting people addicted to opiates because of back pain. And so I'm going the traditional Chinese route. Okay, wrong doctor. Wrong doctor, oh God. <laughs> What kind of doctor is he? It turns out that we accidentally went to a Western doctor. The thing is, I'm trying to stick it to Big Pharma here, you know, Big Pharma. People go in for a little bit of back pain, they get you hooked on opiates, and then five months later, you're in the alleys of LA trying to buy more Valium from a junkie. Valium? Vicodin? Anyways, I'm gonna stick it to Big Pharma by showing them there's other ways. We're gonna find the traditional Chinese medicine doctor now, I hope. Ni hao. Uh, is your legs numb? No. No. Uh, what time is it most painful? When I wake up. Are you more afraid of heat or more afraid of cold? More afraid. Yeah. Which do you dislike more? Uh, I dislike heat more. The traditional doctor didn't exactly want us to shoot in there. I get it. Secrets of the or um, of China. He doesn't. He doesn't want to give away all the secrets. Okay. I get it. But we did get one thing. Prescription. Oh. Is it me? This is an awkward place to shoot, I'll admit that. We're at the pharmacy, let's go. Oh wow, look at this place. They have tons of wooden boxes full of cool stuff. Uh, ni hao, um, I've got a prescription here for some, maybe this. Is this in the prescription, I hope? These giant mushrooms, tree mushrooms. Hey there, I got this prescription. I have some back issues and I was hoping I could drink some awesome tea. That makes me uh, feel like the rock, you know what I'm saying? Oh. I don't speak English. Oh, okay. Uh, but I... <laughs> oh, you're great, you're great. Come back. You have everything? And uh, no, oh. no have. No have. Uh, this okay. no have, but this is uh, have. Have, okay, uh, that's good. Uh, Here, this is seahorse. This How do I, oh, whoa. Seahorse, is this on here? No, 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 no have. No have. Oh man, seahorse is not in the recipe, but honestly, I don't think it could hurt. She's basically gonna give me a bunch of ingredients. She's missing one thing, but what I think is what if we just replace whatever that is with this? So she's going in these drawers and she's getting some different ingredients. Whoa, and now she's got something she has to hit really hard. She's gonna dump that out. There's no way this isn't gonna work. Wow. Chinese medicine. Chinese medicine? Yeah. Wow, very fragrant and I would say maybe earthy. It tastes, it smells, it smells a little like dirt. A lot of wood in here. I didn't know wood would be so good for my back. Can I eat these? Eat? Uh, no, I think yeah, you uh, uh, have uh, water uh, oh. for drink. Like a tea. Wow, so we got all these goodies, lots of trees, and a little couple of seahorses in there too, and this is what's gonna make my back feel 100%. Okay, so here we have all of our beautiful wood. Mmm, piece of wood piece of wood. Here's some little pieces of wood. I think this is just like a piece of wood. And if I'm not mistaken, this is a piece of wood. Hey, buddy. So basically what we're doing is um, spicing up the recipe a little bit. You know, you go to the doctor, they say, take two Vicodin. Uh, you know you're taking three. And you know you're following that with six beers, you know? It's the same kind of thing. We have our um, prescription here, but we're gonna throw in a couple seahorses because it can't hurt. I don't, I, actually I'm not sure if it can hurt or not. We're gonna find out if it can hurt. So I know she said do half in the morning and half at night, but what if we do it all now? I bet I'm gonna feel awesome. And now it's time for these little guys. Bloop. 
Bloop. Okay, we're gonna wait for that to simmer a bit, and while we do, please enjoy a quick spot from our sponsors, Chinese Choco Pie. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. So right here, we have our tea. It has been simmering away. We're gonna put in some scoops of broth. It's a nice orangey brown color. We've got our tea right here. Gonna give it a try. That did something. That is gonna give me a fever dream. It is insanely bitter, but it is like a deep bitterness that you, you feel in your skeleton. I don't think medicine's supposed to taste good in any country. I wish they had like a Flintstones vitamin version of this, because I would just take that instead. This is pretty intense. What we're missing here. So honestly, what I learned today, people don't eat the seahorse, and after smelling it, and feeling its gooey skin, I understand why. <laughs> It's more of a, uh, it adds to the soup. Now, I feel great, revitalized. We're gonna go hit the weight room again and see if this is really taking effect. I feel it. I feel the black chicken. This is all the black chicken. Wait, what episode is this? <laughs> Seahorse. <laughs> I feel a thousand years of traditional Chinese medicine coursing through my veins. I feel good. With the power of four different types of wood. The power of seahorse. Here we go. Hey guys, if you like this uh, episode, be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you next week. A peace.